Now, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I was worried about Seth Rollins looking crazy. I was worried about Cody Rhodes looking goofy. But the one person I really should have been worried about all along, all along since The Rock came back, was Roman Reigns. Now, before I get into this video, 75% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. I need about 300 more subs before the end of the week. And I know that sounds crazy, but if everybody did their part, we would definitely hit our goal. And also, I need 100 likes on this video, man. It helps more people like yourself find these videos. And we just go keep growing this, this community of wrestling fans. And it's going to be amazing. But you got to do your part. You got to hit that subscribe button. And you got to hit that like button. I appreciate you. Now, why am I worried about Roman Reigns? Because he lost all his aura in one night. In one night where The Rock showed up, CM Punk showed up, Seth Rollins showed up, Drew McIntyre showed up, Cody Rhodes showed up. Roman Reigns has easily became, at best, the sixth most, sixth most, I'm sorry, try to say that five times fast, the sixth most, sixth most <laughs> uh, interesting person in at WrestleMania. I want to see Rock versus Cody. I want to see CM Punk, what CM Punk is going to do at, uh, at WrestleMania. I want to see what Seth is going to do with CM Punk at WrestleMania. I want to see what Drew McIntyre is going to do at WrestleMania. And I can make the argument about uh i can make the argument about uh, uh rhea ripley and becky being more interested in the roman reigns right now and this is all right now because i did just watch the greatest episode of monday night raw that i can remember in a very long time everything hit and it did not have roman reigns i think they mentioned roman reigns twice at the beginning of the show but that was it you got The Rock calling himself the final boss. You got uh, Cody Rhodes focusing in all his attention on The Rock. You got Seth not even bringing up Roman anymore. You got Drew focused on CM Punk. You got CM Punk not even mentioning his name. Like, it, it is amazing. It, and y'all could correct me if I'm wrong if Roman was brought up more than twice. But that's all I can remember, which says a lot, which says very much a lot. Roman neat that part-time schedule right now does not work, bro. We are four episodes of wrestling te or like WWE television before Monday Night Raw. Now three episodes. We only got two more SmackDowns and one more Raw. I understand he's going to be on next Monday's Raw, but is that enough? To, like, is that enough time to set up this little tension between The Rock and Roman? Because The Rock, the Roman, the Roman, Roman has to address this final ball shit. Like, there's a wide open spot on Friday Night SmackDown. Who's going to be there? I know Punk ain't going to be there. I know Cody ain't going to be there. I know Seth ain't going to be there. I know Drew ain't going to be there. Is The Rock going to be there? I don't know. I know for sure that Rock and Roman are going to be on Monday Night Raw, though. But I think Friday Night SmackDown would be perfect for Roman to reestablish his spot. The last time we seen Roman, he looked so casual. He looked like he didn't really want to be there. He didn't seem like he was giving his best effort. He kept shrugging off everything Cody was saying, and he didn't add any validity. He did, he hasn't gotten physical in what? Since Royal Rumble? I don't know, Roman. It's looking pretty ugly, man. And I, again, I was worried about Seth looking goofy. I was looking I was worried about I, I, I was even worried about Drew being overshadowed. Punk fixed that in 20 minutes. I was worried about Rock stealing Cody shine. I was worried about Cody uh, losing his spot. Rock and Cody feel like the two most important people in the world right now. So who does that leave out? Roman Reigns. Nobody really even cared. Like, I thought he wasn't Roman supposed to be Thanos. Don't he got the gauntlet? They they question you, Roman. They question you, Tribal Chief. They saying Rock is the uh, final boss, Tribal Chief. They saying Cody go finish his story, Tribal Chief. They saying Jimmy go leave you, Tribal Chief. They saying Solo Sokoa the next Tribal Chief, Tribal Chief. They saying Paul Heyman going to Braun Breaker, Tribal Chief. How you go respond, Tribal Chief? Tribal Chief. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm very interested to see how they can fix this whole thing with Roman. Because honestly, at this point, I'm saying fuck this tag team shit. Have just Cody versus Rock night one and have the same stipulations. Fuck it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Am I overthinking it? 
Y'all let me know what's up. Again, we need 300 more subs before the end of the week. If you are not subscribed, first of all, slap the shit up out yourself because you should have been subscribed. Also, and then hit that like button, man. Again, we go build a little community of us just wrestling. Not even little. It's going to be a big community of us wrestling fans who just love wrestling and have. And we going to stop all this tribalism nonsense. It's just going to be wrestling, smart wrestling fans. Hit that like button. We can only spread the word through hitting that like button. I definitely appreciate it. Have a beautiful night. Sub the act. Peace.